Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're going to smoke some Larry the Cable Guy ribs on the new barrel grill by The Grillers. Before we get started preparing our ribs, I want to let you know that one of our sponsors today is from my good buddy Mike over at Heritage Q. Now, if you watched any of my videos, you have seen me using Mr. Barbecue Mister. There's a the container, simple two, four AA batteries, you're ready to go. Now, I've used this in competition. I've also used this at home. It is very durable. It gets knocked around, gets thrown on the ground, gets thrown on the floor. It works great. Please check this guy out. Super nice guy. Now, also today, we're doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away two of these sprayers. Now what I need for you to do is now I'm going to be doing a random drawing of course and then I'll contact you directly through YouTube to let you know if you won. I need for you to let me know down in the comments section what part of North Carolina am I from. Really simple. So as soon as this video is over with start leaving your comments and I'll select two of my subscribers and you're gonna love this sprayer. Here's our rack of ribs. Mike sent these great looking ribs. These are Duroc ribs that were from Creek Stone Farms. Mike, thank you so much, buddy. I wanna go ahead and get these seasoned up. There's plenty of moisture already on them, so I'm not gonna use a binder. I'm just gonna flip these over on this side. We're gonna get the size seasoned up. Now, what makes these Larry the Cable Guy ribs is we're gonna be using his seasoning. We're gonna start off with one layer of the barbecue seasoning first. Here with a light coating on the back side. Our next layer is gonna be his spare rib rub. All right, we've got it seasoned up on this one side, so let's flip it over. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Start off with his barbecue rub. And we're gonna go back over with the spare rib rub. Lots of salt and sugar in this one. got the rack all seasoned up, just gonna kind of pat it in a little bit. We're gonna let it sit here and sweat a little bit while we get the griller up to temp. While the barrel grill is getting up to temp, if you've never seen or heard the barrel grill by the grillers, there's a link up above here, you can check it out. I showed you inside and out how it works, did a burn in. It's a great smoker and it's very simple to use. It's got a unique design to it, so be sure to check that out. Right quick, I want to tell you as well that the smoke that we're using today is by Mojo Bricks. We're using their competition blend. Great, great product. You don't have to use big chunks of wood. This is compressed, lasts a lot longer, and works awesome. Also, the grillers, it runs kind of hot, so I basically got the vent on it almost completely closed. And we're gonna to try to run around the 300 mark. These ribs should be done in about two and a half hours to three hours. So let's go ahead and get these ribs on and get started. Let's get our rack on. Hopefully you notice the way you put the racks on or anything that you're hanging is around the edge. So the rib or the meat or whatever is kind of away from the fire a bit. And we've already got our competition Mojo bricks in there. We're gonna close our lid down. In about an hour, we're gonna come back and we're gonna spray them with a little bit of apple juice. See how they look at that time. We've been going for an hour, so let's go ahead and check them. Let's see, on the back side, Hopefully you can see. On the 
back side, they're getting done quicker. So I'm gonna rotate it and have the meat side out towards the cold a little more. What we wanna do now is we wanna spray them. We'll go ahead and spray them with our apple juice. Let's take them and turn them under this way and see if we can get that side going good. They're cooking fast. Actually, the heat is more around the 350 mark. Still trying to get used to how to control it, but they're cooking fast, so we probably have these done in maybe two hours, two and a half hours. We've been going 30 minutes. I want to get these ribs off. We're going to put our grill grate in here, and I want to put our ribs on here to baste. They have some great color already from that rub and I'm just going to use a homemade barbecue sauce. This is kind of a thin sauce up in the like the Lexington the western part of North Carolina. I don't want to put anything thick has a lot of sugar or anything like that because I want this rub to shine through to see how they taste. All right, we're gonna let this set up probably for another 30 minutes. We'll get them off and cut into them. We've been going another 30 minutes, so two hours. And they are ready to go. Pull back on the on the ribs there. We're gonna get them off and let them rest, and then we'll cut into them. Here's a close-up of the ribs. Let's go ahead and cut into them right quick. You still see the juice coming out of them. Look at that juice. Look at that juice. Amazing. Look at that. That is some fine pork right there. Alright, here we go. Got some great color. It smells awesome. Mm. It's a clean bone. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, first off, I'm picking up some chili powder. That is very prominent. I'm getting some sweet, a lot of savory. And again, that sauce I put on there only enhanced it. It didn't take over the season. Give this a try. Larry the Cable Guy rubs, you can find them cheap in stores, but they got a great, great flavor to them. Barrel Grill, great job. It is running a bit hotter than what I'm used to, so it's just a matter of getting used to it, doing a little bit of research and tweaking a little bit better to get it down where I usually like it to be, right around that 275 to 300 mark. But again, it's just gonna take time to use it. And be sure, again, let me know what part of North Carolina I am from so you can get a chance to win one of the Mr. Barbecue Misters. So send your information down there below. I will contact two lucky winners. Thank you guys for being with us. If for some reason you're not a subscriber, I appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Send it out to everybody. Have other people come and check us out and let them be a part of our, our family as well. We're on Roku, we're on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, God bless.